Hello everyone, and welcome back to, to Bible with Dada Dava. Last time, on or last time on Bible chapter Z, I believe we looked at chapter 20, 34, Dina and the Chechemites. And today we're looking at chapter 35, Jacob returns to Bethel. Then God said to Jacob, Go up to Bethel and settle there, and build an altar there to God, who appeared to you when you were fleeing from your brother Esau. So Jacob said to his household, and to Ahi were with him, Get rid of the foreign gods you have with you, and purify yourselves, and change your clothes. Then come, let us go up to Bethel, where I will build an altar to God, who answered me in the day of my distress, and who has been with me wherever I have gone. So they gave Jacob all the foreign gods there, and the rings in their ears, and Jacob buried them, under the oak of Shechem. Then they set out, to, and, and the terror of God fell on the towns all around them, so that no one pursued them. Jacob and all the people with him came to Luz, that is Bethel, in the land of Canaan. There he built an altar, and he, he called the place El Bethel, because it was there God revealed himself to to him when he was fleeing from his brother. Now Deborah, Rebecca's nurse, died and was buried under the oak outside Bethel. So it was named Alon Bakuth. After Jacob returned from Padan Aran, God appeared to him again and blessed him. God said to him, Your name is Jacob, but you will no longer be called Jacob. Your name will be Israel. So he named him Israel. And God said to him, I am, <coughs> I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and increase in number. A nation and community of nations will come for you. And kings will be among your descendants. The land I gave to Abraham and Isaac, I also give to you. And I will give this land to your descendants after you. Then God went up from him at the place where he had talked to him, with him. Jacob set up a stone pillar at the place where God had talked with him, and he piled out a drink offering on it. He also piled out on it. <coughs> Jacob called the place where God had talked to him, Bethel, the desert racial of Isaac. When they moved on from Bethel, while there was still some distance from Ephra, Rachel began to give birth and had great difficulty. And she was having great difficulty in childbirth. The midwife said to her, Don't despair, for you have another son. As she breathed her last, for she was dying, she named her son ben Oni. His father named him Benjamin. So Rachel died and was buried on the way to Ephrath, that is Bethlehem. Over her tomb, Jacob set up a pillar. And to the day the pillar marks Rachel's tomb, Israel moved on again and pitched his tent on beyond Migal Eder. While Israel was living in that region, Reuben went in and slept with his father, Kibbekai and Bila. And Israel heard of it. Jacob had twelve sons: the son of Leah, Reuben the first part of Jacob, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Isha, and Zebulun. The sons of Rachel, Joseph and Benjamin. The sons of Rachel's servants, Bila, Dan, and Naphtali. The sons of servant Zilpah, God, and Esher. These were the sons of Jacob who were born to him in Pain and Aram. Jacob came home to his father Isaac and Mamer, near Kirath Abba, <coughs> that is Hebron, where Abraham and Isaac had stayed. Isaac lived 180 years. Then he breathed his last and died and was gathered to the people, old and full of years, and his son Esau and Jacob buried him. Thank you for listening.